and hello my fellow Cape Fear Cord Keeches and welcome back. All right, so today we're gonna switch it up a little bit. Um, we're going inside, we're going into the office. We have this really cool aquarium. If you're into fish, if you're into aquariums, if you're thinking about getting an aquarium, this one's for you. Uh, my buddy Chris from Koi House Angels, he is donating some, some materials for the aquarium. He's also donating his time. He's gonna help scape it up. So we are going to uh, add a couple, uh, uh, what are they, bristle nose plecos. Uh, we are going to just add some plants. We got some driftwood. We're going to change that all out. I set it up a few weeks ago just to let it cycle, and he's got some better stuff for it. And then we're going to go from there. So, all right. So let's go check it out, and we'll see you inside the house. All right. Some videos here of some plants. We've got Java moss, some koi house angels. What is this one, Chris? That's going to be just your plain, classic wisteria water sprite. And this one? An acris. With a couple snails mixed in. Some narrow leaf uh, java fern. And uh, some, looks like broadleaf. This is from uh, Pete Price here in Wilmington. So really uh, high quality. Nice. And then Chris also is donating a really nice piece here. I've got one in there already, but this one's way cooler. We're gonna put some plecos in soon. They're gonna have a little hole to hang out in, and if actually all throughout it's hollow. So we're gonna take this string and tie the plants off, make it look natural. Chris is the man for the scaping, so we're gonna set them up and go from there. Chris. You can actually- Got the roots the here, ones. and then you got rhizomes coming up off of here. I'm so you can actually cut Under this leaf up into <laughs> many pieces and get more plants out of it. Think, uh, It'll be interesting to see what it looks like in yeah, six I months. So long, yeah. sharing rent and everything. Mm -hmm. and she, it's much and better with people with young eyes. Actually, yes. you know, that's where the crates are. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And they get shipped out from uh, Georgia and uh, South Carolina. Thank you. Will it eventually grow onto? Yeah, it'll start. Oh, nice. Yeah, pull these leaves out of the way. We're just trying to keep it kind of sess off. What's that smell? <laughs> Bruh. So here we're gonna tie it with strings, then eventually it's gonna just grow itself naturally and you won't see the string really within a week or two. I may need more strings. All right, so here we have some uh, Super Braid. This is actually a fishing line. And uh, we're gonna use this to help tie. We were using some sewing string, but uh, we ran out of that. I want to go with this. No, and it matches. So, well, your fishermen are going to be pissed at my knot, but this is how we do. I'm going to do just tight enough to hold, but not enough to cut it. Suture. God, you can take that other stuff out though. I'm yeah. ready to submerge. All right, with this here, we're gonna either, we're gonna look for a container to pot these. Um, if not, we might have to- No, 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 we're finding we some. I'll some go Googans. buy some. We might have to be some Googans and, and put them in a gravel. Eventually, I wanna take the gravel out, but um, we're kinda going along the way here. Makeshift.
Okay, so it's next day. Check these out. Looks beautiful. Plants are going to grow up nice. See our little fish. We're actually going to add a few more. We're going to add some plecos, uh, some shrimp, uh, probably a couple of snails. Get a little ecosystem in here. I'm really happy with the slate, the old school slate uh, the bottom. I don't know, Chris is telling me that this tank is probably close to 50 years old. So just a really cool vintage, old school. I need to top the water off a little bit. Just a little old school uh, aquarium here. So really happy with it. And the girls seem happy too. So stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe for uh, more updates on the new fish and things. So we'll be throwing this in the videos every once in a while just to have some fun. All right, so check this out. Koi House Angel strikes again. He donated two small plecos. These are albinos, and uh, we're going to acclimate them and get them with all our little buddies in here. So these are growing good. So uh, let's put them in there. Let's see if we can zoom in on those guys. A little difficult to focus. There we go. So yeah, two little, uh, two little albinos. So let's see what they do. There they are. All right, we're gonna wait about 20 minutes. All right, let's unleash them. Mature height or length is about three inches. All right, let's zoom them in. Why they went straight down? Oh, have you got that? <laughs> yeah, they disappeared fast. They're all blur. <laughs> There's one right there. Uh, yeah. Going I'm to town, hungry. going to work. I'm so hungry. Let's find them.